Welcome to another video where we test and review the Edifier speakers. These are the XM3 BTs, meaning BT stands for Bluetooth. And obviously these are a 2.1 surround sound setup because we've got a subwoofer and we've got two front speakers as well. So these speakers are 8 watts a piece and this subwoofer is 22 watts and these are RMS as well. So the right configuration is right there. But we're going to be testing it and playing some uh, WAV files and stuff and see what it sounds like and everything like that. Uh, it's pretty cool, but there's a lot of things that I really want to go through with you on it. So the speaker here is like three and a half inches. So that's 88 millimeters each. And then we've got the subwoofer, which is five and one quarter inch. And that is 148 millimeters. So this subwoofer is a little box is obviously made out of MDF wood and stuff like that. These boxes are pretty light. Um, but other than that, we do have um, a frequency as well with 200, 240 gigahertz. It's all the way to 248 gigahertz as well. And on the range of these speakers, it goes from 150 hertz to 20,000 kilohertz. And the subwoofer is 30 hertz all the way to 100 and 180 kilohertz as well. So we've got an all right, decent sort of sound. I'm more likely thinking it's going to probably be a little bit poppy because it's MDF wood. That's with light speakers. There's no real weight to it. It's like really easy to pick up. The subwoofer is a little bit more heavier, but it has got preamp built into it. Um, so let's start off with this. So on the side, straight off the bat, we have a volume knob, which you don't press. doesn't do anything. You just go volume up, volume down. So it doesn't keep going around all the time like they do on other Edifier speakers. We've also got a multimedia uh, volume and a control and you can turn it up and then down and then that's what that is. Then we've got the speakers which are RCA or Phono cables which are connected through uh, the speaker to connect them up. And then we've got um, an AC out for your power. That's already connected in there so no additional plug in, just straight AC and then straight plugged into uh, socket mains. Your power switch on and off and then you've got these buttons here and obviously you can see these slots here. So if you've got a USB stick you can literally connect that to this and skip through the tracks via up going backwards and that one going forwards and no that's actually playing pause and then the bottom one skipping forwards. And then you press the button again, and if it's orange, it's going to be FM. Yes, FM. FM freaking radio is on here. So what you could do is skip, well, obviously the blue light's for Bluetooth as well, and the green one is obviously for line in, um, or is it SD card? Red one's for SD card. So you, yeah, SD card as well. So you've got so many different ways that you can literally have music coming out of these speakers, which is really quite cool. So that's what you've got coming in the box and everything like that. And this is what's on the side of the subwoofer. I think there's nothing on the back, if I remember rightly. No, it's just nothing on the back. Just a little wooden box and stuff. So let's talk about aesthetics really quickly. So at the moment, when I take the covers off, yes, it does look pretty ugly and stuff like that. But that's just the way it is. But if I put the covers on, these nice little foamy covers with a metal sort of or plastic aluminium look, uh, aesthetic with uh, Edifier breathing through some orange lightage, then yeah, it looks kind of smart, it looks kind of clean, it's a good little computer uh, speaker. Um, it's decent for that sort of thing, it looks nice, complements it really well. It's got some orange AdSense lights, lightage there, and then obviously nice little aluminium plastic look there, and then you've got the actual grill, and it's quite solid with the Edifier logo there. Um, and then it's got the base reflex hole on the left hand side as well, which means you've got the amplifier and everything like that, and you've got it like that. So your subwoofer base would not be completely straight. But technically, I don't know how they work this out, but they do work these things out. So what we're going to do is just going to play some music and see what it sounds like, and then see what you guys think. Right, so all I'm going to do quickly is just going to play like a quick video for YouTube because obviously it's really down sampled and all that sort of stuff. This is a 4K video. So this is what I'm saying. Listen to YouTube at the moment, down sampling the music and stamping, stomping all over it. And then we'll use, listen to some waveform right now. Even though when you look at it on YouTube, it will still be down sampled and stomped on, but not as much as this one. I'm going to play it at full blast as well. Actually, I'm going to play it to, to a nicer level.
bass off, full blast, and then I'm going to drop the bass in gradually. This is where it sounds like the sweet spot for me at the moment. Now I'm going to bump it up, the bass. Sounds like it's popping a little bit, so I'm gonna bump up a little bit more. Welcome to. Well, I'll we'll try that again. So, this is the base of where I've left it from gradually. I ain't turning it up yet until when it kicks in. Right, so you do have a bit of headroom where you can have the bass. Obviously, I put, I think it's probably about 75% that I went to. Any more than that, it will start to pop, but it depends on what music you're listening to. Now, if you're gonna listen to rock and R&B, drum and bass, or anything like that, then obviously it's gonna be bass heavy. Um, con con continue your bass, which goes, goes room and deeper frequencies of bass lines. It means that it'd be okay for, but the really deep bass that you don't really normally hear, unless you've got a really high quality subwoofer that you're gonna put money behind, is where you can hear those sort of frequencies from the sub. That means it will kind of sound a bit like poppy or it'll be non-existent. So this I would definitely recommend as a monitor of speaker listening for like your gameplay and everything like that. But you can turn the bass down slightly, but you won't it won't turn the bass off completely. It'll feel like it's quite nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play like a waveform now and see what you think of that as well. So I'll probably play four or five tracks and then I'll just give you my honest opinion afterwards.
So there you have it. This is what it sounds like with all kinds of different genres. So I basically try to put a lot of people that listen to different music and see what you can hear from it and then make your reference and then make your purchase on that note. But technically, I'm gonna just try the FM radio quickly, uh, which is, oh, what color was it? Orange. There we go. So I should hold down the play and pause button, is it? And it should search up to 70 preset stations on there. Not even a no tuning in or nothing. Can't, I don't know if I'm doing this right. Let me just press that. Let's so hold it down. That's really weird. Like a little, a little thing, it just paused and it was like, but there was nothing there. So I don't know. I don't know how this works. As I'm in my studio, I don't have an air rule in here, so maybe that's why it's not picking up. It worked! Okay, cool. Anyway, so all that music you've been listening to, yeah? We had the bass up full blast, so all the way down, let me crank that up, mine. And then we had the volume up about 63, 60, I say 64%. We had the volume right up and yeah, basically, any more than that, with all the genres of music, it's not gonna sound like a nice listening pleasure. I know all of you like, oh, what kind of volume do you listen to? What, how do you set it all up to make it sound really good? Well, that's how I normally do it. And obviously using an SD card, depending on the speed and what kind of form you got in there, MP3, waveform, whatever, and USB stick and, or like you wanna plug in like an exit, it's all gonna be different. It's gonna be all freaking different. But this is what I just played it through, just like raw files straight through this video. So anyway, hope there was enough information in there. Because if there was, leave me a like and share the video like crazy. The more people that share my video, the more people that watch it, the more happy I am. And that's the more support that I get. Now, I know there's a lot of you out there that support me already. And I definitely respect you with all my heart. I love you because technically without you guys, I would be nothing on YouTube because you need that sort of support to keep going. And all the strength when you say nice, positive things. So kudos to you. Thanks for your love and everything like that. Um, and yeah, just keep getting people to subscribe, share and like and follow me on all social media platforms. And I'll see you next one. Roger. Freaking out.